What's up guys, David Sherwack here, and today I'm gonna to be doing another top five video. And this one is gonna be five more things that can normal players hate. So I know I'm supposed to be doing a weekly dose of Dama right now, but I decided I was gonna take a break from it this week. I'll post this video when I usually post weekly dose of Dama, and then I'll be back next week with the third episode. So get hyped for that. I just really wanted to make this video, so let's get into this. All right, so the first one here is when you're juggling. Usually this happens when you're juggling. Say you're juggling your Ken and the Tama, and uh, the string kind of tightens, it gets tangled, and the Ken straight up just smacks against your hand. Okay, I'm just realizing this now while I'm editing this. Um, I could have called that something a little bit more precise and less lengthy. You know what, let's just call it string problems. So this can happen more often with like a short string, but even with a long string when you're juggling, sometimes the string will get tangled. And the Ken, it's honestly one of the most painful things ever. The Ken or the Tama will just smack right against your hand. Literally hurts so bad and it just sucks. I mean, this definitely had to be on the on this video because if you guys have ever tried juggling, you've most likely had this happen to you and it it definitely does suck. All right, this next one here kind of goes along with that and that is having a short string. All right, so this one is probably one of my least favorites. I really hate having a short string. My preferred string length is like six fingers now, which is crazy because like three or four years ago, that would just seem insane. Three or four years ago, like four fingers was pretty long. But yeah, most, uh, most strings that I use now are like six fingers and actually all the new analogs come with six finger strings as well. So I really like that. But like having like a three finger string, something like that, I know lots of the OG players wouldn't think a three finger string is short, but for us today, honestly, three fingers just, it's just really limiting, really restricting on like what tricks you can do. Um, so yeah, definitely having a short string sucks. Like I said, I prefer like six finger string length, at least five. So there you go, short strings, the worst. All right, the next one here kind of goes along with Kendama issues once again, like actual kind of hardware issues, and this is having loose cups. Now I used to have to deal with loose cups a lot more because the old analogs had a pretty big problem with loose cups, but now obviously they're they're better. The, the loose cups is not really an issue anymore. But honestly, loose cups were just so annoying. Um, some kendamas these days, depends, you might just get unlucky, you might get a kendama that doesn't have the tightest cups, and that really sucks because especially when you're trying taps, uh, you're going for that, say, that six tap or something like that. Um, the cups are just going to come loose all the time. And it's really annoying having to constantly, like, push the cups down on something. Really takes a lot of time, really is just very annoying. And yeah, loose cups definitely have to be on this list. Alright, the next one here is having an uneven weight between your Tama and the Ken. Now this might not seem like that big of a deal if you haven't been playing Kanama for that long. But having like a Tama that is significantly heavier than the Ken or the other way around really affects the overall play of your Kendama. Especially when you're doing tricks that the weight really matters like spacewalks and juggles. Um, it's really noticeable and it really affects how well you can do those tricks. Now one of my Kendamas here actually is the Chrome B-Day, 7 year B-Day Slay Dog. This thing is really not matched at all in terms of weight. The Tama is way heavier which is really weird. but yeah, even just playing this, you can feel it when you're juggling it. It's just, it feels super weird. I don't even have like a gram scale. I really wish I did so I could like precisely measure the weight of my Tama and my Kens. But you don't even need it for some of them. Like this one, you can feel just holding them in your hands that one is like significantly heavier. So that really sucks having different weight of Tama and Ken. So if you're gonna buy a Kanama, um, I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. Just hope that you get one that's pretty evenly weight, ma weight matched. But if you're making a setup and you have like a gram scale, definitely make sure to weigh them first so you don't put like a 90 gram Tama. I know that's insanely heavy with like a, what, 60 gram Ken. I doubt anyone has that much of a big difference, but just yeah, definitely having a gram scale would help with that. All right, and the last one here is something that's happened to me a couple of times, probably the worst one on this list, and that is when your dog chews your kendama. 
Um, as you guys can see right here, we have a Dave Chur pre-mod. So I designed this, this Kendama. I put a maple can on it. And as you can see, I'll get some close-ups of it. The Tama is just completely ruined, completely chewed up my, by my dog. The spike chewed up, base cup partially chewed up. It could be worse, but I mean that Tama, you can't even, like if I touch this, I'm gonna get slivers. So I can't even like hold the Tama. Spike is almost gonna be snapped in half soon, so I can't really play this anymore. And guess who is to blame for that? Look at this boy. What are you doing? Were you just eating something? Pretty sure he was just eating something. Kind of weird. But yeah, this dog is responsible for this. And uh, I don't even think he cares. So shout out dogs everywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure to tell me down below if you agree with this list. And I don't know if I can make another one of these videos. I can't really think of five more things. So yeah, this is gonna probably be the last one. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. I just said that weird subscribe. We're on that road to 10K. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.